We've always wanted Jordan Montgomery in a Red Sox uniform. Now that feels like a true necessity. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Sea Radio. My name is Corbin. And basically, since the offseason began, Red Sox fans have been screaming from the rooftops that Jordan Montgomery makes so much sense in a Red Sox uniform, yet we really haven't heard anything about it. Later in the offseason, the Red Sox themselves essentially confirmed that they believe Monty's a good fit here too, yet we've still heard nothing. And finally, recently, we've heard national baseball reporters say out loud that the Red Sox and Mont Jordan Montgomery make perfect sense, and they have no idea idea why the Red Sox aren't actually pursuing him, and yet we still heard nothing. Well, that is until this morning where we got some pretty big information where Jordan Montgomery's market stands and how that could affect the Boston Red Sox. So what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to break down the latest news regarding Jordan Montgomery's market, why this goes from a man, I really wish the Red Sox would get him to, hey, the Red Sox really need to get this guy and how this could affect the Red Sox going forward. But before we get into that, we are on the road to 10 thousand subscribers we are less than 900 subscribers away from that mark if you're new here do us a favor help us get there by hitting that subscribe button we talk red Sox content almost every single day also make sure you guys hit the like button on this video as well helps these videos out a ton and it would mean a lot to me thank you all very much for clicking on this one let's get into it now, the idea of the Red Sox and Jordan Montgomery certainly isn't something that's new. This has been talked about by me, by cr other creators, by Red Sox analysts, by fans, by national analysts, even before the offseason began, mostly because the Red Sox need three things going into 2024 that they didn't have in 2023. That is a guy who can go out and give you a whole lot of innings on the mound. Jordan Montgomery can definitely do that. They need someone who can be a durable pitcher. Jordan Montgomery has been very durable over the last few few years and they need quality starts. Jordan Montgomery once again gave you quality starts consistently over the last few years. At his absolute peak, he was a frontline starter. At sort of his median level, you're talking about a number two, number three guy. And at his absolute worst, he's still an innings eater and a guy who's going to go out there every five days. Jordan Montgomery was exactly what the Red Sox have been looking for. On top of that, there's no qualifying offer attached. We knew the Red Sox were a little bit scared of doing that. And he's a left-handed starter that you lost this offseason in both James Pack and Chris Sale, right? The fit makes absolutely all the sense in the world, but for a while, we haven't really heard anything about Jordan Montgomery's market and why the Red Sox haven't absolutely pounced on this guy. Well, this morning, that changed a little bit. We got some more insight into what Jordan Montgomery's market may look like and why the Red Sox may have not absolutely pounced on him. This all started last night when both John Morrissey and John Heyman came out re with reports regarding Montgomery's latest market. John Morrissey released his report that meant he believes that Monty will be signing by next Thursday because he is a pitcher and this is spring training. The pitchers are extremely particular with their routines and to mess that up going into a season where you just signed a big contract probably isn't the smartest move in the world. You can hold out for as long as humanly possible but at some point you do have to make a decision here and if it's before spring training you're going to be able to get that full spring training in with an entirely new team and be ready to go for opening day. He also mentioned in this same article that while the range were the favorite still to land Jordan Montgomery, the Red Sox could make a late push if they're able to clear salary from a Kenley Jansen trade. John Heyman, on the other hand, also put out a report that echoed a very similar sentiment. He said that the Rangers were still the favorites, just like John Morrissey, but the Red Sox are still looking for starters and could be a legitimate option. Basically, we've heard this story before, right? This is essentially what we've been hearing this entire offseason regarding Jordan Montgomery's market. We understand that there are couple of teams that have checked in on him, maybe waiting in the wings as sort of a silent onlooker, waiting to see if there's a move that they can pounce on. But for the most part, the two names that have been connected with Jordan Montgomery more than anyone else has been the Boston Red Sox and the Texas Rangers. Well, that was until this morning because Rob Bradford actually dropped some extremely interesting news about the Rangers pursuit of Jordan Montgomery. He said this morning, quote, it is my understanding as of very recently, the Rangers have not been actively involved in the pursuit of Montgomery for a while due to his price tag, unquote. That completely changes everything because now what this means is that Jordan Montgomery's market from what we can see on the surface, there's obviously a whole lot going on behind the scenes and we'll get into that in a second, is that 
that the Red Sox are Jordan Montgomery's market. There's no more excuse to not sign Jordan Montgomery because there really isn't any, at least from what we can see, competition for his services. The Red Sox are in a prime position. Now, the reason we're making a video about this is not only because the Red Sox now seem as though they are the only ones in the market for Jordan Montgomery, but because it could point towards why they have not signed him yet. And it could actually be a really smart move by this front office. And that is that they are waiting out his market. Jordan Montgomery went into the 2024 offseason trying to get a deal that sort of mimicked a Carlos Rodon deal where he was sitting in the high twos for a multitude of years with a team. A Carlos Rodon type contract was his ideal goal. If the, it truly is the Red Sox and nobody else, the Red Sox sitting there saying, hey, this is what we'll give you. If you don't want it, fine, find someone else who will give you what you want, but we don't see anyone else lining up. They're waiting Jordan Montgomery out, sort of similar to what they did with JD Martinez back when they signed him. Martinez went into his offseason with Boris as a client, expecting somewhere in the $200 million range. As the offseason went on, the Red Sox bid their time. They sat there. They said, this is our offer. We're not moving from it. Find a better one or sign here. And eventually, they waited him out long enough where they were able to sign him for the price they wanted in the mid 100 millions, right? It worked out really well with JD Martinez. And if Jordan Montgomery has a similar market here and the Red Sox are saying, look, this is what we'll give you. But but we're not going any higher. And if you want to find higher, go out and find it. We don't see anyone lining up. It could be a really smart move to get Jordan Montgomery at the lowest possible cost to play for the Boston Red Sox. But there's also risk involved with that. There's a hundred percent risk involved with that. And I think the biggest risk is if Jordan Montgomery and Scott Boris are comfortable with shortening their spring training. If Jordan Montgomery sits there and he says, okay, you know what? We don't love the Red Sox offer. Let's wait and see what other teams end up doing. Every single spring training it really feels as though there's one breaking news article about some stud pitcher either needing some sort of surgery or being out for a few months with something, and that's when teams could get desperate, especially if that injury happens to a World Series favorite, i.e. the Dodgers, the Braves, the Orioles, some team that really has a lock on being a playoff team that is trying to win a championship, they could get desperate because of injury and end up swooping in and giving Jordan Montgomery what he wants. The other risk involved with this here are the mystery teams. We've heard the Phillies as a mystery team for Jordan Montgomery. We've heard the Yankees being interested in Jordan Montgomery. If the Red Sox sit here and they say we're not budging at some point that opens the door for teams like the Phillies and the Yankees to come in and say, well, wait a second. Why don't we just offer you what, what you want and let's get you on our team? We didn't realize that the Red Sox were not doing anything. We thought that this was going to be a huge competition, but if it's not a competition, yeah, great. We'll take Montgomery and we can make our team a little bit better. There's big risk involved with trying to wait out his market, but at the same time too, it could be really smart thing to do. Now, the reason this is news and the reason we're talking about this, because I know some people are going to sit out there and say, what does this matter? Well, the reason this is important is one, because this entire offseason, we've sort of been assuming that it's been the Red Sox and the Rangers and maybe a couple other teams, mystery teams locked in here that are bidding for Jordan Montgomery. And based on everything we've seen this offseason, especially with the Red Sox dumb little budget that they put together for themselves, that they'd eventually get outbid, that at some point, another team would come in here and they'd put the Red Sox in an uncomfortable position. Position, they'd immediately say, all right, we're good. Thanks. We tried whatever. But now that it's just the Red Sox, now that publicly it is just the Red Sox only in on Jordan Montgomery. And obviously things could be a bit different, but from a public perspective, now that it's just the Red Sox, if they do not sign Jordan Montgomery, they allow him to wait for a team to get desperate or a team to swoop in and say, oh, there's no competition. We'll grab them. It's flat out from a lack of trying. It's not because of a restriction on your budget. It's because you are not trying. To me, this makes this move much more possible. And you might call me crazy. You might call me a moron for still thinking that the Red Sox could end up with Jordan Montgomery and should end up with Jordan Montgomery. But if you're truly concerned with the money, you have the opportunity to trade Kenley Jansen. There have been people who are interested in his services in the Dodgers and the Phillies who have been mentioned in multiple articles as possible suitors for the Red Sox to get rid of Kenley Jansen. You have that ability to do that. And even if you don't, you should be able to sign Jordan Montgomery and stay within that 
that sort of 25 million, maybe a little bit more. Maybe you push yourselves a little bit, Red Sox. I'm, I know it's crazy, but it is possible that the Red Sox at some point pull their heads out of their butts and say, wait a second, this is exactly what we need going into 24, not just into 24, but also what we're going to need as we get to 2026. Because believe it or not, despite the fact that your top prospects are coming up in the next couple of years, you're still going to need pitching when they come to their window, right? You're still going to need pitching at that point. And Jordan Montgomery helps you get there not only this year, but 2026 as well. This has been the guy that I've been begging the Red Sox to get this entire offseason. It's been the guy that you guys have been begging the Red Sox to get this offseason. And now it becomes a waiting game. Now it's okay. If the Red Sox are truly the only team that have an offer on the table for Jordan Montgomery, how long are, are both sides willing to wait until one of them budges? Who's going to be the person to blink first? And I'm hoping it's the Red Sox. I'm hoping the Red Sox get to Thursday or Wednesday or whatever it is. And they say, all right, listen, we want you to get a full spring training. We'll give you the extra year. We'll give you the extra $2 million a year. We'll be the Boston Red Sox for once this offseason and actually do something that a big market team will do. I'm begging. <laughs> I'm begging. This is no longer a, hey, this would be great. This is a necessity for this team to be competitive in 24 and to be legitimate competitors in 2026. But this is just my opinion. So let me know in the comment section down below, what does this news mean to you? Does it change anything about your thoughts on the Red Sox going after Jordan Montgomery? Does it give you a bit of insight as to what the Red Sox are possibly doing? Let me know all your thoughts on the latest news surrounding the Jordan Montgomery's market in the comment section down below below. As always, if you made it to the end of this video, again, pushing towards 10,000 subscribers. So if you're new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We talk Red Sox content almost every single day. Also, make sure you guys hit the like button on this video as well. Again, it just helps these videos out a ton and it would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one and I will see you in the red seats.